Hi there! In this last video, I'm going to talk to you about my hand technique and how I worked it to improve my blast beats. So, as for my foot technique, it really depends on how fast I'm playing. Let's begin with slow tempos. On low tempos, the motion is made by my arm, my wrist, and my fingers. With these, I achieve the biggest power and control. But of course, you can use only your arm, your wrist, or your fingers. Here is what it looks like. For mid-tempos, and because the speed is increasing, I have less time to do a full motion, therefore I need to reduce amplitude. In that case, my arm isn't used that much, and the important part is my wrist giving power and my fingers giving precision. Just as the difference between low and mid tempos, I have even less time to use my wrist, so the motion is based on my fingers. I still use my wrist to give impulses and have stamina, letting my fingers rest a little bit while blasting. Let's check the motion. Let's be honest, I'm not doing a very serious routine, so if you're more into a solid and educational way of learning, I can't advise you enough to follow the aesthetic work of Eugene right here. As for the exercises I'm doing, the first one is just 8th and 16th notes at different tempos. When I'm comfortable at the slow and mid-tempos, I increase speed. You can see the technique is not the same as I mentioned before. The second exercise I'm usually doing is more about precision and control. I'm playing quarter notes, eighth notes, triplets, sixteenth notes, and so on, increasing the tempo until I can go above, like this.
When it is really hard for me to keep up, I push myself beyond my limits, even if it's not clean. It allows me to develop my muscles and my drumming capacities, expanding my range of tempos. So the next performances will be very sloppy. To end this video, I would like to add something. Even if extreme metal drumming is something demanding a lot of work and a lot of training, the first thing I want with my drums is to have fun and enjoy. The two things that helped me the most about increasing my drumming capacities were playing in a band and keeping covering songs I love even if at first they are too difficult for me. Always remember to enjoy yourself. I always try to bring you the best quality content I can. I hope you liked these videos and do not hesitate to tell me the thoughts about them. Thank you for watching, see you later, bye.